I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll put the kettle on her. You really didn't have to come and get me, you know. Well, I figured you'd be exhausted pushing yourself over there. Do you want to talk about it? Mm. Amelia reckons the money Brenda's offering me isn't enough, so she decided to stage some kind of protest. That's about the long and the short of it. Except now I've accepted Brenda's offer. Amelia's not so happy about it, but she's going to have to stew on it while she washes dishes for Bob. Uh, don't be too hard on her. Sounds like she was looking out for a dad. There are worse things. Yeah, that's the thing, innit? I don't want to be a burden to her. She's just a kid. Hey, I doubt that's how she sees it. Mm. That's another thing we'll have to talk about when she gets back. I wish Carrie was here. Despite everything, she's the closest thing Amelia's got to her mum. She'd know what to say. And if she didn't, she'd just carry on gabbing till she did. Yeah. I know we're not together anymore. Well, truth is, I still miss her mum. Well, you two, you've got a lot of history together. Aren't you? I mean, it's, it's good you're still mates. Mates, yeah. you still got feelings for her. That question or a statement. You know, going away, I thought it'd give me time to think about my future. Well, that's good. But all I could think about was the past, me and Kerry. I know I need to move on like she has, but I can't. Because I'm still in love with her. Pathetic, right? Mate, of course it's not. I know she don't want me. Why would she? Why would anyone? But on the positive side, I've got my whole life to go over it. Alone. Hey. Oh. Busy? <laughs> Not complaining. Had enough excitement in the cafe earlier. It's a nice change of pace. Do you know, there's an art to a well-polished glass. Oh, not this again. It's got to be done when they're just a little damp. It stops the water spots. And then you need two cloths. One reserved exclusively for the, for the final, final buff. Feel a minute. Of course, you can do it with one. Have a pinch. OK, but... put the glass down. Done. We've just been around at Dan's. Did he tell you that he's accepted Brenda's offer? <sighs> it's good news, I think. Hopefully, the money will make things easier for him. Yeah, he is open. Is everything all right? Not exactly, no. Oh, what is it? He's not changed his mind, No, 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 it's not about the money. Oof. So... In a word... Carrie. <sighs> What's she done now? He thinks he still loves her, Bob. Ah. It's not just that. I mean, he's properly down on himself, full stop. And I tried talking to him, but I'm not sure I did any good. And right now, I'm not sure anyone could. You missed a bit. I said there was bears in the fridge. Hey? Eh? Sorry. Another thing I want, but I can't have. Not to labour the point, but there are plenty more beers. You know, out there. Oh, it's all right, I'm not bothered. See you, cheers. You do realise I wasn't just talking about the beers? No, really? It's probably quite subtle. That'll be it, yeah. Listen, if you think there's a chance for you and Kerry... <sighs> of course I don't. I can't help the way I feel. Well, maybe that's because you're too busy looking back when you should be looking forward. Who made you so wise? Probably came out deeper than I meant it to. Uh, I meant because you should ask for a refill. Hey, see? Sense of humour. Of sorts. Number one trait women want in a man, so... Mm, it's only to the mystery why you've been so lucky with women over the years. Yeah. Except I've been exactly where you are right now, more times than I care to remember. Me one big difference. Seriously, I... Dan, you're a top bloke. You are. And the right woman is out there for you, wheelchair or no wheelchair, right? If you say so. I'm not just saying it, Dan, I mean it. You need to stop being so down on yourself. Yeah, I... Oh, right, well, tomorrow's a different day. Exactly. And we'll have more beers in the fridge. Things are looking up. 